home sellers follow up on how to compensate real estate buyers agents or how I would as an attorney and a broker as you know in the previous video we got this four and then we said we're gonna discuss this more in depth in the next video this is that video sellers agents can offer to compensate buyers agents without using the MLS because they agreed that it can't be in the MLS anymore any such offer of compensation can be made directly to the buyers agent that would be individually one-on-one -on -one. i think that's good I, I don't think that runs afoul of the doj's desire to decouple compensation compensation agreement <clears throat> we're supposed to be decoupled so that the listing agent paid the listing agent the buyer's agent paid the buyer but they can't stop you from wanting to sell your home and and do contractually reasonable and legally reasonable things such as helping a buyer buy your home by compensating a buyer's agent or a buyer's attorney so I think they're not trying to push for that now. They've said in their memorandums and things like this that that would be okay. And this is where we're getting a lot of our facts from what the DOJ, they finally got on record here in a, in a class action suit that they opposed saying it wasn't strict enough. They said that buyer agent compensation can run afoul of steering laws, which would be tantamount to calling it illegal and ethical. And buyer agent compensation can also... Uh, compromise the fiduciary duty of buyers for instance they could have buyers pay too much so they could pay pay more and there's other obvious fiduciary duty risks in compensating buyers agents so one of the ways is they're saying here is you could have the agent make offers of compensation on the agent's website now i'm not going to say that that's always wrong i'm just saying if you're going to do that you really need to understand the risks of steering and compromising buyer's agents fiduciary duties that DOJ has laid out for us very clearly and that a lawyer there could there's definitely other risks compensating someone else's agent for instance if I'm getting paid as a lawyer if you're getting paid by someone's grandparents or their parents to represent them as a lawyer you're always saying things to those people paying hey I thank you for paying their bill I'm sure they're happy but my client is so-and-so your grandchild your son your daughter and Unless they allow me to share that information with you, I cannot share it with you because they're my client even though you're paying. Like these are what happens. So if you're offering compensation to someone else's agent, it has to be done the right way. It has been not done the right way. And that's why all these large, the, almost every big brokerage has been sued. And NAR was sued and they got run up for $1.8 billion. It wasn't doing being done the right way. And just because... The class action suit doesn't outlaw it, doesn't mean it's the right way. And NAR doesn't make the laws, and CAR doesn't make the laws. State legislatures do, and the courts do with lawyers in the courts. That's where the law is. So you need to understand. This is why realtors cannot consult on this. This is why in, in paragraph 17 here, um, NAR has said, well, we'll go back and see if this is right. This is the NAR settlement. You can pursue off MLS. You can pursue offers of compensation off MLS through negotiation. And I can say well, that might be allowed by realtors, but consultation with real estate professionals, that's attorneys. Now, I could and will go into this in more depth in other videos. If you haven't seen it already, it's partly here. I've also explained other times where I can see how buyer's agents would be compromised. I can, Or I can just tell you right now what I think the best practices are. The best practices are that you make sure that that buyer agent or somebody is paying an attorney on the HUD. Presumably, like you got to set it up on the head so it says buyer's attorney, and there's an offer of and there's compensation on the closing documents. So you can show that the buyer worked with a buyer's attorney, and um, that buyer attorney got paid. I don't know if you want to have them paid out of the buyer's agent commission or out of your pocket, Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller or Ms. Seller, but you want to make sure there's a buyer in that. If you're paying buyer's agent's compensation and you want to be able to sleep at night and you don't want that buyer to come after you later and saying you improperly compensated my buyer's agent, cost them their fiduciary duty, and I bought this house with these problems with the property, or I bought I overpaid for this house and prices sank, because that's what happens. The lawyers and lawsuits come out of the woodwork in tough markets. Um, and when 
buyers find problems with the properties, they call lawyers. And in the past, the lawyer would say, well, I can do that for you, but I've got to be paid by the hour. But if they got an easy case because you improperly compensated buyers agents or unethically did it, that, you know, there may be some extraction coming. You know, there may be settlement talks where they're coming after you because you improperly compensated an agent. So if you want to be able to sleep at night, I would make sure a buyer uh, attorney was paid on the MLS and I would make sure that waivers or acknowledgements or addendums were signed in which the buyer acknowledges all sorts of things about compensation for the buyer's agent. We'll get into details in further videos. I've drafted those releases that I would use. I'll discuss them in future videos or in other times, but that's how I would protect my sellers if I was working for them. That's how I would protect myself in California if I was selling my home and I wanted to compensate buyer's agents. In the next video, I'm going to do just a quick rundown of when and why you might want to compensate buyer's agents. Because I'm, although I'm advising people to do zero, there are times what happens after a few weeks. Might you want to consider compensating buyer's agents and why? We'll talk about that in the very next video in this series. You can see this series. Maybe NAR will hit you. I mean, maybe uh, Google will hit you with the right algos and you'll see them in order. Or if you'd like to see more, go to winnerscheck.com and there'll be a series of absolutely free series for buyers and sellers uh, on my website. I'm, this is what it's part of. I'm creating it right now. It'll be up on the website soon. Thanks. Bye.